QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Sales Receipt Template Download and Customize. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are in our test template file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view dropdown, selecting the open windows list. We've been taking a look at the customization for the sales receipt template. The sales receipt being the type of form that will be there if you have work done at the same point in time that cash or other form of payment has been received. A form that may then go to the customer and therefore you might want some customization with it. So we're going to go to the lists drop down up top. We're going to go down to the templates and we, take, we took a look last time at customizing the sales receipt in this new sales receipt template form. Remember, when you do customize these forms, you have a few different options. One, uh, you can customize or copy the current form that you are using, duplicate it by hitting the drop down and saying duplicate the form. Then you can adjust that form. Or you can create a new form from scratch, hitting the, the rise up and saying new form. Uh, or you can download a template that has already been adjusted and then make some tweaks to it, make some minor changes in order to customize it towards your company file. So let's take a look at that now. So we're going to go to the templates rise up here and we want to say that uh, we want to download a template. So download templates and then we have our list of forms on the left hand side. We want to look at the sales receipt. So we're going to go on down to the sales receipt down below and here we have some standard sales receipts. Now note that you also want to just keep in mind that you you have the donation up top and if you're a not-for-profit organization you might use this option up top in terms of the donation the standard donation on the right hand side is the one we'd be taking a look at here if I was to download that form for example and say open that form this is a fairly basic type of template for a donation so you can you can use this and start to standardize it from there uh, so there's notice it has donation basically up top and it's a nice, really clean type of form that you can have here. Now, obviously, with a donation, you don't need a whole lot. If you're a not-for-profit and there's a donation involved, there's not typically a whole, not, a whole lot going on in the description. You don't need probably a lot of the space down below, possibly. And you might have more information than to give a, a, a thank you for the donation or possibly put more information in like a personalized type of letter format. So if I was going to add this one, if I was to say OK and add that one, to my templates and then I go on over to my templates here then we should have uh, the donation form which is going to be this item the QB standard donation form so if I double click on that then you've got your donation form here and like you say you can then use your standard type of formatting within this setup in order to tweak this and make it basically your own so you have the same kind of information we looked at in the prior for the basic formatting company name company title you can adjust the name and title basically up top as you choose. You've got the additional customization fields that uh, that you can have for the headers. And you can, uh, you can adjust these for the screen and print and then adjust the title. You can still adjust the columns for this customized form even though it is customized. Notice there's a, a lot limited here due to the fact that it's a donation form. And therefore, we, we may not need in that case quantity and rate and so on and so forth because the, it might be a volunteer donation of whatever amount is there although we might have set amounts so you, you may need those fields and you might, might want to rename them and then we have the printing option and so on and so forth if we want to customize this more with the designer layout then you can take this one and take that basic layout and and do some further designing to it possibly putting some custom messaging and branding in to the to the donation uh, form you might make it more of like a thank you type of letter as well as a, a receipt of the donation so we're going to close that one back out. Let's take a look at it on the forms. I'm going to say, okay, no adjustments have been made. So it's a QB standard donation. If I go to the home page then, and if we're in the not for profit, then we can select this item and uh, we can use it basically as, a, as the not for profit by selecting the QB standard donation form. And it even changes it up top. So the, so the layout is going to be changed up top here. And then when you print it, we're going to go to the print and we're going to say that uh, we want to preview that. There we have our, our donation form, our standard template. Now, obviously, you can do the same thing for if you're not a, a not for profit. I'm going to close this back out and you can you can customize your templates over here as well. So we can go to the templates layout 
And then I'm going to say, let's do another one, templates, and let's go ahead and download the template. And we want the sales receipt type of form. So we'll go down to the sales receipt. Now, if you do invoices and sales receipts, you're going to kind of want to line these two up. You'll take a look at both of them and see if you can find a similar type of uh, layout for the two types of forms. So, for example, if I download this item here just to take a look at them. Now, when you hit the download, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to add them to your templates. We're just uh, looking at it at this point in time. And then if you say OK, it'll pull it over into your templates. And then if you just close out up top, it will not. If it does pull over in your templates and you don't want it, you're just checking it out, then you can delete it from your templates file. So that takes us to the same basic kind of information. You can see this layout is much different here. So we can then use this template possibly to then customize it to our, to our needs. So, so this was been generated or adjusted with the help and use of, of the layout designer. But we still have the standard kind of options that we can do and the basic settings and the additional customizations should help us out with like the standard uh, layout of it. And then we can move forward from there. So let's close this one back out. I'm going to close it without saving it. We had another orange one right here, the orange dots item, because I think we had an orange one in our invoice. So let's check out the orange dots one. So let's download that item. And then I'll, I'll open that one up and see what we have with this one. So this is a similar layout, but they gave us more, more of the line items down below. So here's our orange dot one. Let's go ahead and copy that. Let's say OK. And let's bring that over to our uh, templates. Let's go on over to our templates. Now we've got this orange dots template. So we've got a few of these items here. We've got the orange dots template. If I was to open that up, then I can then try to customize it from here using my basic settings to customize it. I can use my additional columns uh, settings to customize it, adding or, or removing some of the default column settings. And then once again, you can go out to the layout designer. This one obviously having a lot more de detail involved in it as the, as it's built in the layout designer and you can try to figure out basically how you know how the whole thing is going to be put together and how to customize it from that point in time but this is one way that you can get kind of a custom feel to it and then and then start from there and then further design it with the layout designer i won't go into a lot of detail from this point but i'll close this back out now say that you want that to be the default for your sales receipt if i want that to be the default note if, if i go back to the home page and I select the sales receipt, then it's going to go to this. This is the default. I want to make the default this orange dots one. So if I go to the orange dots one, similar input screen, the input screen looks much the same. But if I want to print it and I preview it, then I got this nice orange uh, item here when, when we preview it. Closing this back out, closing this back out, I want to make that the default then. If I go back to the templates, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all other forms that are sales receipts inactive. One way you could do that, right click on it and simply make it then uh, inactive. So I want to right click on it and I'm going to make the template inactive. Now, if I then choose this item down below, it's still there. So I still have the sales receipt, but it's now inactive. So I got to check that off to see it. So and then I want to make this one inactive. So I'm going to make it inactive. I want to make this one inactive. I'm going to make it uh, inactive. And then we're left with, with this item up top. So again, if I, if I choose it, we have, there we have it. Now then if I go back to my, my home and I create a sales receipt, now that orange dots one is the default. If I select the drop down and I preview it, so there it is. I'm going to click, and there's the uh, sales receipt item.